imagine a much different opening day than it was a year ago with fans in the stands understanding it wasn't the end result you would have liked was it still nice to kind of get back to some normalcy yeah yeah like you said it wasn't the result we wanted um but having that buzz uh having that energy uh back in the stadium was something special that i know we all enjoyed um I was talking with a couple guys, talking with umpires, man, they, everybody missed it. You know, I think from everybody, it's uh, those fans, that energy, that helps, that makes the game. They're a part of the game, just like all of us. So, it, uh, bad result, but uh, glad to have the fans back. Game one of a long season, had opportunities in the seventh and again in the ninth. ninth. Was it a frustrating day at, at the plate for you? Yeah, especially when you don't come up for your team there. Uh, in the seventh, having the bases loaded one out, you know, I just got to get a ball in the air give us the lead, um, and then I end up, you know, grounding out double play in an inning. And then uh, there in the ninth, too, same thing. You know, guys in scoring position, you know, just hit something the other way, get in the gap, you know, uh, watch the guys run, wasn't able to come through, you know. So it's, uh, you know, let the team down twice there, and then even, you know, the ball over my head, you know, that's, you know, another opportunity we could have, you know, at least held them or at least caught that or cut the guy off or kept him from scoring and didn't do it. So, uh, you know, a lot of missed opportunities on my part. Was it encouraging to see Gary Sanchez get off to the start that he did today? Yeah, you know, I've been been watching it all spring. You know, that's what I've been saying, you know, since the first day of spring training. The guy looks like a different man. Uh, came ready to go. Uh, kind of got our offense going with those two, that two run homer. That was, that was huge, and he's, he's looking really good at the plate. Next one to Marley Rivera. Good to hear, Michael Vargolas. Oh. Aaron. How are you feeling physically? Feeling great. Um, yeah. Yeah, feeling good. No, no complaints. Because obviously, I'm just asking because obviously, you know, you were a little sick in spring training. They had to put you, you know, at the end of the spring training through the COVID protocols and so on. Just if you can walk us up what happened and how you're feeling. Yeah, just uh, it's crazy. And every time you have, you know, any symptoms of anything, you know, especially the last day of spring training going, you know, we're about to travel. Uh, not too wise to, you know, not say anything. So just spoke up with the team and, you know, let them know what was going on. And, you know, they kind of shut me down that last day, which, you know, I didn't want. But uh, I think for everybody's safety, it was the best call. And Aaron, how much of a thick skin do you have to have to play in the Bronx? I mean, the Bronx cheers were already out there today when you guys uh, didn't perform at the plate. Yeah, that's part of it. You know, those fans, they want to watch winners. They want to watch us win. Um, and they don't, you know, they let us know when we don't do our job. You know, they, and, you know, we didn't do our job today. You know, there's quite a few opportunities, you know, especially me, like I said earlier at the plate um, with guys in scoring position, tie game, you know, I could have, you know, given us the lead or done something and uh, we just didn't execute, you know, so it's, you know, got to regroup, you know, get back to it and, you know, enjoy the off day and prepare for the next game on Saturday. That's for sure.